previously on De La Plants. Hi everybody, oh my gosh, welcome back to my channel. I am so excited to be starting this. I mean, it has been almost a year of building this greenhouse. What a journey we have been on. We are going to start the video by finishing out the benches. I have to go out and get some more wood because I have used up my whole pile. I just got here and I don't have my wallet. Okay, I've been back for a little while and I just started working. Kind of forgot about the camera. So hope you don't mind, but basically all I've done is, earlier I installed these legs. So I put them on every other crossbar. I don't know if I'm gonna need to do more, but I think it feels really secure, so I don't think I'm gonna need to do more than that. And then I put on a front beam, which is unstained, so it's very easy to see. It was very difficult <laughs> to get such a long piece of wood all across. Oh, also something that I realized is some of you might have noticed that there's a gap right here where the roof meets the top piece of wood. Usually with a house, when you close in the gutters and do all of that, that is closed in and it goes away. I'm probably just gonna get um, extra pieces from this polycarbonate and put it there and like seal it in. Welcome to another day. So I'm back in the greenhouse as you can see and I'm suited up as you can also undoubtedly see because it's time to stain the benches. I'm so pleased that I finished the framing yesterday. It was actually a very fast process. I'm very happy about it. Um, but it's time to revisit this situation which has been sitting outside for a number of weeks. One thing that I've learned is that um, you know, it can be cleaned, you can come back to it. It's, everything's fine. I had an early dentist appointment this morning, so naturally I didn't sleep all night. And I was thinking about the greenhouse a lot, so since I had things like going off in my head like crazy, I decided to just open up my greenhouse checklist and I added like nine things to it. Like I really thought I was being thorough before, <laughs> but nothing will like hit you like a kick in the face, like when you're trying to go to sleep and then you remember all the things you have to do. Cause I had, I had to go to sleep by like nine. Okay. And I'm a person who I, I would go to bed at 3 AM if I could, because I'm just a night owl, big, big night owl. So anyway, naturally my body was fighting it. I was thinking of everything possible and there's a lot left to do, <laughs> but I'm glad that my to-do list is much more robust because I like having it all out there, at least like written down so that I know what to expect, you know? right in here and it feels quite cold outside but because the sun is coming in here so strong it's actually warm and I actually already need to take off my jacket today is a cleanup day slash finish the benches day so I'm gonna set you up over here so that you can see because a majority of the stuff is down here and 
I'm actually, now that the shelves are going to be done today, I'll be able to put things that are going to stay in here on the shelf and they won't have to sit on the floor. And I'm really excited. Okay, so I've got some updates to share regarding what I just showed you, but I actually deleted the footage ugh, on accident of me installing the wire to the top of these benches, which I'm super bummed about, but I did make a TikTok before I did that, but I am gonna show you what I did and sort of talk you through it. So I ended up buying a three foot hardware cloth and I rolled it out just in sections and as I was rolling it out, I was screwing it down and I was using the washers from actually the polycarbonate panels. And then once I ran out of that, I used just like a different type of washer with the same screw. And because these are two feet long, the two foot one was too short and the three foot one was too long. So I ended up just coming along and trimming it here. Um, my clothes have been kind of snagging on this, which I didn't really want. So I don't know, I might find some sort of like corner trim to just put here because it has been annoying. Like every single day I've come out, I've snagged my clothes on it. We'll see. That's definitely like a final touch. Hi, Koopy. It's really hot in here, huh? I know. Well, it is another day working on the greenhouse and today I'm going to be hauling up as much pea gravel as I can. Um, I mentioned in the last clip, I think, and you definitely all know it by now, but I am pregnant. I'm trying to keep up with building the greenhouse as much as I can, and it is actually functional at this point. I have started putting seeds in there. Something that I can do that is a sort of more passive thing is bring gravel up. So I did order two pallets of gravel, as you can see here. <laughs> and I've been just grabbing a bag every time I walk up there but it is getting a little bit harder to do that because I have um, a baby in my stomach <laughs> and putting it on my hip, it's just, you know, so many things that I didn't realize would um, be inhibited by the belly. And I have the truck today, so I'm going to be bringing quite a bit up there if I can. rock in I finished this whole side and I did two and a half sections on this side and honestly that was not as bad as I thought it would be I think this side is slightly wider so it takes like one or two more bags I'm super out of breath but I just went in to change because I decided that since it's like sunny and not like super super hot I decided that I would um, start priming these boards and I was thinking that I would wait to prime them until I put them up but I'm gonna go outside hold on it's hot there's been some delays in 
putting up the wall just because my husband had an appendectomy. Obviously those are normally very random and you can't plan that kind of thing. So he can't like lift anything for probably another couple of weeks and I just wanna keep the ball rolling. So I'm just gonna prime them before we put them up and then once they're up, they'll be primed and I will be painting them a specific color. Depending on how I'm feeling, I might also just paint them while they're down as well. I don't know, I feel like that could either be like a good use of my time or like kind of like a dumb use of my time, I don't really know. But either way, I can't really do anything right now because I can't build out that east bench until this north wall is done. And so I'm kind of just doing things that I think will help later. We'll just have to see. But okay, so I'm just gonna set myself up and then start painting. to paint this door. The reverse of this door has the color on it, but I wanted to tell you what color I ended up choosing because it was really hard and I felt like the color of the door really says a lot. So I ended up going with a color called Trailing Vine by Bear. It's a nice like deep green color and I really, really like it and I might actually want to use that color for the north wall exterior because if you'll remember, um, I only primed it last year, so I wanted to get it at least protected from the weather, but I didn't have time to like paint it. And I also don't think I was in the headspace to like make a decision to choose a color. So I think I'm gonna go with that dark green just because I kind of wanted this whole greenhouse to more or less blend what is on me. There's pollen flying everywhere in the air. <sighs> I'm hoping that it doesn't get to me this year as bad as last year but i did find a mural in town that i'm like super inspired by and i could not find it for the longest time and i finally found it again i know exactly what road it's on so i'm gonna go back and take a photo of it and um you know maybe sometime this spring or summer the mural can happen but if not i'm honestly fine with keeping it this white color for now until like life gets a little bit less busy because obviously with the baby coming i'm just trying to get things done that are like absolutely necessary um, also, I decided to go with white for this interior wall, and the reason for that is because every post that I, not every post, yeah, every photo that I see of potting sheds, because this is sort of like a greenhouse hybrid situation because it does have like one closed in wall. Normally greenhouses don't. So I've been looking at potting sheds to see what to do with this closed in wall. And every photo I see is a white closed in wall and white is probably going to be the best decision because it will reflect the most light it will make it extremely bright in here i'm certain uh so there is that but i was also looking at like um yellows pale or like sun light sunflower yellow but then i was afraid that it would make it look weird in here for lighting when i'm filming unfortunately i have to think about that too in regards to this whole greenhouse situation because I would like to film out here quite a bit if I can if it's not too hot I think yellow might make the lighting look really weird but I'm gonna put it up um, with the white because I already put the I used like the bare blank slate white color I don't know I just picked a white and hopefully it was the right decision we will see if not it's very easy to paint and I can paint it a different color <laughs> Now 
time to install insulation, which is a whole process. I covered my body from head to toe. I'm wearing a respirator. It's really important to protect your skin from fiberglass because it can cause lots of irritation. And if you inhale it, it's really bad news. So I'm using unfaced fiberglass insulation. And the reason I'm using unfaced is because in my research, unfaced was better for mold situations so i don't know how humid the greenhouse is going to be but because it's a greenhouse i'm assuming it's going to be pretty moist so i went with this to the best of my research abilities and talking to a bunch of different people hopefully it was the right decision um, i did have to piece together some pieces because i bought the wrong size i'll talk about that later but it was really easy to cut i just got an exacto not a, not an exacto knife a utility knife to cut it down and it was super easy and then i am using a little bit of like all-purpose foil tape that is made for like installing insulation and other things like that, just to help hold it up because some of the pieces kept wanting to fall down and I didn't pack it in too tightly, but sometimes it just falls down. And so it's nice to have something to hold it up in the meantime. A lot of it didn't though. There was enough friction on the plywood to hold it up. But anyway, hot tip for you. If you are installing insulation at any point, make sure that you <laughs> make sure that you know how far apart your studs are when you buy it because I bought 15 inch insulation when I actually needed like 24 or 25 inch insulation. So besides having to puzzle it together, it was a super easy process. Okay, you guys, I am done with the insulation. Oh, I fear that I have markings all over my face. Um, but yeah, that was actually a lot easier than I thought. I did have to do some puzzling together because I bought the wrong size. And after realizing this, the first time I tried to film this moment, <laughs> I went inside and had a good cry because I called Home Depot and they said I couldn't return it after I had already opened the package. As you saw, I had to make cuts like right along here um, and sort of piece it together. So it's not like operating exactly the same as, well, it is gonna do the exact same thing, obviously, um, but it was just a little bit more time consuming to do this than if I didn't have to do that, but yeah it's done and there is one piece on the end where i'm gonna try to move the plug so i haven't put like the four by four um the four by fours or the insulation in this section because for some reason the electrician put the plug right there here's a hot tip that i've learned if you are getting electricity put in something mark where you want <laughs> your electric boxes because I didn't do that. And that seems like such an obvious thing to miss. Like why didn't I think to do that? I don't know. He put it in a really annoying spot a few times. So I'm gonna try to work around the other ones, but that one I would really like to move. But I think that he would glued it down. I don't know. I don't like have the capacity to like look into that right now. I moved all of these back inside this morning because we got a big rainstorm and I was like, oh shoot. So I was out here moving them back into the greenhouse. And now I am going to see if my friend is available to help me put it up, uh, put these up, which I'm a little bit nervous about because we are gonna have to like cut around the outlets and stuff. But like literally that's such a common thing. Like everybody has to do that when they put up like drywall or like plywood in your garage or something. So it's not like it's never been done before. I have watched a few tutorial videos and we're just gonna see how it goes. So hopefully I will see you guys again soon. And now it's time to install our plywood wall. This was probably one of the most intimidating things Things that I've done in the greenhouse surprisingly enough just because cutting around all of these plugs was quite difficult <laughs> we did get the hang of it towards the end when Daniel basically saved the day but we had to move some plugs around and these big plywood pieces were so heavy so it was just tedious there was a lot to cut around so there's lots of different methods to doing this and I can't even recommend one of them like I, I did so much research on how to cut around these accurately. We ended up just doing math <laughs> in the end. And whenever my friend and I did the math and then when I did the math on my own, it did not shape up as it should. So as you can see, there's like some holes here that I will fix later with some scrap pieces. But just generally, 
I don't know why it didn't work out super well when I did it, but of course, when my husband Daniel comes out to help, it works out perfectly. <laughs> Either way, um, I was really, really happy to get this done, and we just used our small cutoff tool to cut out the holes, and it really would have been better if we had a jigsaw, but I don't have a jigsaw, and I was really tempted to go buy one. This was the only application I could think to use it as of right now, so we just opted to use our cutoff tool which took a little bit longer, but it still worked. As you can see, Daniel was measuring out and he's just cutting out these little details and look how perfectly that fits. This piece was so intimidating because it has two plugs and an electrical panel and he literally got it perfect. I do not know how. So I was happy to just be a passenger princess in this entire process. We have been out here this, this afternoon working on the greenhouse and Daniel is here basically like writing all of my wrongs <laughs> because he knows how to do these things so much better than I do. I'm really just learning. So he's fixing some of the plugs that were just sort of not in the right spots. And um, we finished putting up the wall. As you saw, it looks really good. And now I'm installing the front door handle. I wanted to have a big handle door, door handle, <laughs> and a code lock for this. I don't think that I necessarily needed to have a lock on it, but it just gives me some peace of mind to have it. And I actually got it all off of Amazon. I think it was total like, I don't know, maybe around 80 or $90. I think it was on sale. And it was just so much more expensive to buy it from like Menards. It was like gonna be $100, $120 for like the code lock. And then, you know, another $50 or so for the handle. So anyway, it just was way cheaper to do it that way. Hi guys, where have you been? You've been on a great adventure. <laughs> oh, thank you. Wow. Wow. You guys knew I needed this, didn't you? <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Okay, thank you. Go, go, go. <laughs> so anyway, installing door handles is really simple, but I'm just following the instructions step by step so I don't mess it up. Long time no see. So I'm back in the greenhouse today because I am finishing up the east bench and it's not gonna be completely done by the time I finish filming today, but I just wanted to come out and do a few things because this morning I came out and I actually framed out the bench. And the reason that I didn't film it is because I already filmed framing out this bench before. And what happened was I had to take it down to put up the north wall and then it was sitting on the ground in a weird position and then it warped and then i had to redo it <laughs> i am very pregnant 33 weeks almost 34 weeks and every passing day it gets harder and harder to be out here because it's so hot okay so the top of this workbench is two but uh nope it's one by sixes and I haven't treated them yet, obviously, but I will be sanding them to match the rest of the greenhouse, this like reddish stain. And what I'm gonna have on here is, oh my gosh, wasps have found my greenhouse and I've had pest control come out, but they still sometimes make their way in. Anyway, what I'm gonna have here is little slots where I can put buckets for soil and just things, like a sink, but not a sink. Like I don't want it to be a functional sink. And I've even thought about using like actual sinks that I could find like maybe from like Habitat for Humanity or something. That would be definitely very pretty. Um, I don't know if I'll be able to do that, we will see. So I'm not gonna put screws cause I'm screwing them down kind of like you would screw down like deck boards. So I'm not gonna put them in like this middle section just because I don't know where I'm gonna be cutting out because yeah, I don't have the sink yet and I don't know if I want to 
center it on just this workbench or center it on the entire greenhouse. I'm just gonna finish screwing in at the end over here and then I'm gonna do a few other odds and ends. I kind of like the idea of having one of the sinks be right here. I think this is a good spot for it, but we will see. We are back once again on a blessed cloudy day and I am doing something that I'm pretty excited about. So today I'm going to be closing up the seams between these panels here so you can see there's like a, a seam <laughs> right here i don't know how well you can actually see that but between all of the panels there's a line obviously because it is six different pieces so i wanted to put something between them and i'm gonna paint it white so that it blends in and if anything it might kind of look like a wall detail but it's really covering up a pretty annoying crack <laughs> and so i'm using a one by two and my nail gun to just get it in there and i haven't been able to use this a ton um, for my projects but i'm really excited whoa for this application because it was so easy and fast and because it's such a small piece of wood it's just basically like trim it was not a big deal for my nail gun but I also brought some wood glue because there are some holes in um, from putting all of the wood up, the plywood up. We had to cut around things and there's some holes that need to be filled and fixed and all of that kind of stuff. So I have wood glue and I have wood filler. the new bench and I need to get a foam brush because I can see into the cracks like between them um, some parts that the stain didn't reach and normally I would just use a brush but because the stain is oil based it's just really annoying to get out of brushes like I have to get paint thinner and it's a whole thing so I'd rather just use a brush that I can just toss and the next thing that needs to be done like the next big thing and I don't Think I'm gonna film it because I already have shown a brick sequence before but I will update you I'm changing the direction that the bricks are going because trying to figure out how to cut these bricks has turned into a whole thing that I just am not willing to do anymore I'm getting so far along in this pregnancy like my child could be here in I don't know like in two weeks it'll be a she could come at any time situation. 
So <laughs> with that being said, I'm just trying to finish this project as soon as possible to the point where I can put plants out here and I don't have like things that I'm actively working on. I am getting so close to that point, but I'm just working so much slower than I normally would and my limitations are so much more, which is fine because I'm growing a person and I really, I am being kind to myself in this, but at the same time, I like there's things that need to get done and I'm really stressed out about it. So with that being said, I decided to change the direction of the bricks because I was doing them like this where I would have to cut five bricks and then use one half here, one half on the other side. Now I've decided to change them to be like this, which requires zero cutting because these sections between these four by fours just happen to be the exact like length or width or whatever as five of these bricks. So I am having to get a little creative because I need to find like bricks that are like slightly shorter and I might have to chisel off like a tiny, tiny bit from the bricks to get them to go into this last section. But this, like, this is done. It's not moving, it's staying, I don't know, it's staying secure. These ones were very rickety and moving around a lot because it's just not like as tight in there. Obviously as yes, this is like very, very tight. So while it's not the traditional way to lay bricks, it's just what I'm gonna have to do to get this part of it, the project done because I didn't want to finish bringing in the rock until the brick was done and the rock is, I don't even know if I can physically bring the rock up here anymore. That might just have to be a Daniel thing. But anyway, I am needing this to be done for more reasons than just wanting it to be done. You know, I have my physical limitations. I'm over it. It's been well over, a, not well over a year, but it's been like, over a year of building this and I need it to be done. Good progress today. I'm really happy with what I was able to accomplish. I'm making it a goal to come out here every night this week to work on it because we gotta chip away. <laughs> little by little, we gotta chip away. So anyway, that was tonight and I will see you tomorrow. It's tomorrow. <laughs> so I've got some foam brushes because we got to Fill in these cracks because as you can see, or maybe you can't, there is no stain right here. And I just couldn't reach it. And unfortunately this wood is warped. And I didn't know that until I got home. I really should have done a better job checking in the store, but I didn't. So there's a pretty significant gap, but you know what? I think this is where I'm gonna have the sink situation. I know that I keep mentioning that, but I think this is where I'm actually gonna put it in this area. So it won't be too big of a deal. And that closes out this greenhouse part five video. I feel like I say it in every video, but this building has been such a huge labor of love. I've learned so, so much. Um, and this video has spanned over a couple of months, well, actually quite a few months. And it's so wild to see my body changing and growing throughout this whole process of, you know, just a few months of growing my, my daughter. <laughs> um, I'm excited for the next greenhouse video where we will hopefully finish up this project. I'm really hoping for only one more part. And I know that at that point I'll have a baby in my arms and I'll be so excited to show her all that her kooky parents were up to while she was growing in my belly. Um, thank you so much for your support over the last year on this project. And if this is the first greenhouse video that you're seeing, I have a playlist with six videos showing the entire process from start to finish, like how I actually planned everything and all of the, um, you know, details of growing this, or not growing, building this greenhouse. I guess it has been growing. <laughs> It'll probably be another couple of months before I have another part out just because we are entering baby time, but I'm super excited to get back out there and finish the race in due time once my body has rested fully. So thank you so much for watching and I will be seeing you in the next video. Bye.